Last on our list of the fossil lap is the pancreas. The pancreas is so key. We've talked about its effect in the small intestine. But its ability to not only dis dispense enzymes, enzymes into our digestion, but enzymes which will later escape into our bloodstream and help us in many other ways. So the pancreatic enzymes are paramount in our health, paramount in helping all the different processes of our body to operate effectively. Also, the pancreas has its ability to control blood sugar. The sensoring areas are more into the brain, pituitary, uh, medulla oblongata, which will sense as we drop in blood sugar. Communicating to the pancreas to be able to release insulin. Insulin to be able to help convert food that we have just eaten, or the pancreas might even be able to help us break up fat tissues to get us blood sugar and increase this. So the pancreas and its ability to control blood sugar through insulin is also paramount in our understanding of this. So we, we have to put the pancreas down here as something we need to learn how to deal with. Now in summary, we want to know about foods, fresh and raw. Are we getting the fresh and raw? How much of our diet is fresh and raw? Do we have dryness in the mouth? Is there excess dryness in the mouth? Do we have clicking in the jaw? Do we properly chew our food? The stomach problems will create belching and bloating after meals and a craving of liquids. Do we have belching and bloating after meals or craving of liquids? This will tell us that there's a stomach concern. Small intestine will create a problem where we will see stools that are oily, light in color, float, smelly. These different types of things can help tell us that there's a problem in the small intestine. If we have cuts or bruises that don't, that don't heal properly, it also tells us. Ileocecal valve, do we have pain in the lower right quadrant? If, down in this area, do we often have some little twinges? This can help tell us there's a problem in the ileocecal valve. The large intestine, rectal gas, can help to tell us. The liver and the pancreas, any disease that you have is involving the liver and the pancreas. And the autonomic nervous system, are you able to balance the stress versus relaxation in your life? These are the different hallmarks that allow us to intuit into a person how do we increase their ability to absorb nutrients. It is not just what you eat. It is what you absorb.